Did we fight last night? Hey, how'd the presentation go? Heard you smashed it. It was fine. Just fine? Yep. I'm sorry, can, can you speak to me, please? George, I, I've sent you, like, ten apology texts, and I, I'm, not, I'm not even sure what I'm apologising for. Really? Yeah, I... I must have passed out. I woke up on the sofa this morning, a bloody nose, and I'm bruised, I'm aching, and... George, did you hit me? I'm sorry, I have to ask. I know we said that we weren't going to do that again, but we were both drunk. And... No. I was merry. Just didn't expect to have to defend myself from a vicious attack. What do you mean, a vicious attack? That's what I said. I've got video evidence. Video? What is this, a police interview? No, I did this for you, to show you how bad you were. This is why I woke up with sore ribs, why I left you on the couch. This is, this is why I'm afraid of what you're turning into. Camera doesn't lie. I can't get my head around why I'd behave like that. Not even for the first time. You slashed Dean's tent? I was protecting you! It was only down to luck that I didn't wake up with a black eye from my talk. How would that have looked to the students? Hmm? You knew how important this was to me, and you almost ruined my chance to redeem myself. I'm, I'm aching too, so th th there must have been a tussle. I told you, I was dodging your blows. I had to push you away, shove you. I had to defend myself. You made me go back on my promise to you. I, I hated it. And a bit of a tussle is what violent husbands claim when we turn up to a domestic. How can you say that after everything I went through with Perry's accusations? You defended me then, George. What's changed? Last night, I was terrified. Is this who you really are? The kind of guy that knows how to throw a punch and not leave a mark? Is this something to do with your past, or...? George, I promise you, I'm not that person. My aching ribs say otherwise. John Paul, these issues, mood swings, are getting in the way of us. They're getting in the way of everything. It's gonna drive me away. You need to figure out what's most important to you. There's no need to wait for an anniversary to post a soppy message especially when the recipient is as special as you are. George, you are my one. You are my best mate. You're my happy ever after. And I would never do anything to spoil that. Um, you lift me up when I'm down and you make my heart go Especially when you wear your uniform. I really like you in your uniform. I used to say that Stevie G was my ideal man until I met you, George Kiss, my superhero. I love you.
It's all true. Stevie G. Never told you that before, have I? <laughs> Guess I have a lot to learn. So, you gonna stick with me? Can I trust you? I, I realise that the issues that we've been having are down to me and, and I'm really grateful for the opportunity to fix them, to change, and I will. I promise, George. Please forgive me. That was great. Yeah, don't lie. Pie was burnt. Why don't I get us some Sauvignon to take away the taste? Hey, don't you think maybe you should lay off the booze for a bit? Stick to water. Or we could get an early night. I don't think so. Right. Well, this is going downhill fast. Come on, let's go to bed, eh? Kiss and make up. No, don't take this the wrong way. I just, I still need some space. But I thought you said we'd make this work. It will just take a little bit of time. Just to, you know, get over what happened last night. Okay. I'm still shell-shocked, to be honest. But don't worry about me. Maybe I can sleep on the couch tonight. No, I, I, I will. This is all my fault. If you're sure. I'm really lucky, George. I, I, I feel lucky that you're sticking by me. Despite everything. And, and I feel really grateful. And I promise I, I'll fix all of this. I will, I promise. Okay. Sleep well. <laughs>